They go classroom. Classroom. You get mine, they tell me classroom. Anyway, when I go go class, but I need to collect my own share. What did I hear you say? Share. Share of what? I didn't hear you say share of what? Share of watermelon. Tell me that thing say I blind. You think it's another way to that they do? When I go give my own share, Jadio, I will go remain here today. Don't worry, we know what you want. If you know what I want, you give it to me. That was my time. Yes. Collect this thing. Collect this thing! Ah. See what you they give me. As if I be small picking. What do you mean this? Collect this thing, Jadu. What do you want? What's the problem? See, make I tell you now. If you no one give me my own share, I go report to now. Now, when I won't give me the share one oh. after the other, or when I won't give man. me the share in good. He has not gotten to that. He has not gotten to that. He has not gotten to that. He don't pass like that. Yeah. If you don't give me my own share, the school, the school go here. I'm going to report to my parents. Man, huh? ah. Calm down. Eh? Yeah, so when I won't give me my own share now. Just true. Sure. Yeah. Hey, yeah! You don't touch my nipple. Yeah! Mm -hmm. Which one I haven't known, Chef? Guys, guys. Stella is dying. I saw her lifeless body down there. What do you mean by Stella is dying? I saw her. Stella is dying. She's there. Where? 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 I haven't heard from you both. 
I don't have anything to say until Stella recovers. And she's able to tell us exactly what happened. At this point, I do not want to hear any report regarding this. Is that understood? Yes, ma'am. You may go. Thank you. Hey, lover boy. What do you want from me? It's simple. Leave Violet alone. She is the food for the gods, and we are the gods. Even when she do not know that you gods exist? She will need to be told, but she won't let her feel our vibe. My friend wants her, and that's fine now. I can't believe the level of impunity. Anyway, tell your man Violet is the only one to say what she wants, not me or him. my best but I can make you happy and I can't stop time for you I don't know why we couldn't work this so you mean he told you all that <laughs> he has just touched the tiger by its tail he has complicated things for himself we have to take him by who we are we have to let him know the dangers Yes, you have a point. But how do we do that? I mean, we already know there is a tension in school and it involves this mod. So how do we go about it? That is my most challenge for now. But everything being equal, I will hit to set a standard. I advise we start now. You know procrastination isn't a good thing. Don't know the proper at all. Make you first know what in the Leon and mind. Then we can hit him if you had trouble. And also, we need to know the stand of the girl in question. No, no. She doesn't need to be questioned. I love Violet and I know she will accept me. I just don't want anybody to confuse her. Oh, God, see that one, no follow her at all. Who knows if she even loves herself? Desmond, are you not scared? Or is it because you have the kiss already so you want to put that fear in us? Me? Scared? Not at all. Point of correction. I don't have any case and I can swear to that. I just pray Stella wakes up and start talking and I will be vindicated. I hope he knows what is before him. I hope he understands that it's not about gathering gangs in the whole school. I will so deal with him. And if you are putting that guy straight to mind, then I will say you both are sellers in one ship. How? Because uh, whatever it is, it is because of a girl. And that is silly to fight over a girl. I am not fighting over any girl. He is trying to bully me and I won't take that shit from him. Can you imagine such nonsense? Leo, I would advise you don't defecate on your doorstep and then say the words things. Hello? Are you trying to say I should have gone on my knees to say sorry over someone who just woke up to me just to bully me? Let me tell you something. Leonard, do not give a fuck over what could be the result of foolishness. I am not a coward and I will not take such humiliation. Leo! Leo. 
Nobody say that you should do all that. You and I know that prevention is better than cure. And there are things to be prevented. And there are things to fix and deal with decisively. Can I talk to you? Sure you can. I'm listening. Why are you doing this? Am I doing something? Oh, you don't know. I thought we talked things over and decided to stick together. Yes, we did. So what happened? I should be asking you that. Why are you so selfish? Like, why are you acting as if you're a saint here? Listen, Clinton, the game you're playing, I know it's far better than you do. So don't take me for a fool. What do you mean? <laughs> I know you asked me that. But let me remind you, we are here to do nothing but love each other. And no one is expected to love less. Our duty here is to keep the flag up. But I did nothing wrong. Here he comes again pretending. You know what? Please and please, don't bring us these issues again. I am done. But of a truth, we messed up big time. I feel bad doing it. Yeah, we were wrong. But for how long are you going to continue to fill your mind with that guilt? Come on, bro. It's high time you let go of it. How can I let go when I know I just betrayed a friend and not a sister? Kenzie, we are meant to fight for each other, not hurt one another. Sure, that is it. But the deed has been done. Can't you see? Yes, it has been done. But the memory of the guest here still echoes in my head. So what are you trying to say? You want to go tell them what happened when you know fully well that Stella will never speak up. How do you know she never speak up if she gain her full consciousness? Exactly. Because no woman can ever stand the stigma of being seen as a rape victim. 89% of rape victims do not speak up because of fear. So chill. So what will you do now? I don't know. I am finished. This art is sacrilege and the consequence is death. But, are you sure it's really your uncle? People look alike. See, Irene, doing our parenting show, I sensed it. That his voice sounded familiar, but I couldn't comprehend it. Because Uncle Sam is a churchy type. I know what I saw. See, Mio, this is what I brought upon myself, trying to belong. Don't say that. It's not your fault. It's your uncle's fault. Why would he suggest to do things in the dark? That was the first red flag I got. But I ignored it. Because I was too calculative of the money involved. So, so you're still right here. I, I feel like I'm strange. That was in the agreement. And you both know. So why take his side on her? Why will you say that? Did you even know what happened? <laughs> How will I know? When you both are not telling me anything, you said who did that to face penalty from the group. Yes, you both support her. We are not taking side on her, Tonya. She's even in more danger than you think. <laughs> what danger? That's the lie she's putting up to cover up herself. Not at all. The man you guys hooked up with is her uncle and a deacon in a church. Oh, you don't mean it. Yeah. And the repercussion of what she did is death. <sighs> He's always going to die. You have to calm down. <laughs> so my friends did this to you and still stand to fight the innocents. I know you're hot, but please, don't let this come out, please. Why? Everyone out there will start seeing me as a whore. Please. Akungo, you call me your friend, yet you stab me hard. 
I'll make sure you regret whatever you think you've enjoyed. But if you have my best interest at heart, you will let this go. Please, please, I'm begging you. Please. Something has to be done. They can't go unpunished. No. No, they can't. I can't let them go freely, walk freely on the streets. No. My conscience will let me. No. Please, please, Ziki. Ziki, please. Please. Stella, you are hot. I can't watch them. Understand me? I can't watch them walk freely. No. I know, but I, I'm still alive. I'm still but alive. you are hot. Yes. Please. My conscience will let me, please. Ziki, please, no. My conscience will let me. I'm sorry. Ziki. Something needs to be done. Ziki, you're going to put me in trouble. Ziki. My God, what am I going to do? Hey, stop there. You're the spy, right? I'm here for a different purpose. I hope you're reasonable this time. Yeah, sure. So what is it? He wants to talk to Dex Mons. Who is that? Dex I'm sorry for everything I made you go through. I spoke with my sister. She told me everything that transpired between the both of you. And that you're innocent of what happened to her. So how is she now? She's still in pains. Ma, that is why we are here to let you know that it was a misconception of my mind. And I'm sorry about it. Um, yes, ma'am. Ziki walked up to me yesterday and he told me he's sorry. And that what happened challenge, Mr. Yes, ma. Well, oh, that's a good one. Mr. Ziki and Mr. Desmond, I'm very happy that you both were able to settle your differences, not involving the school authority of going against the school rules and regulations. And please, Mr. Ziki, next time, before putting up a fight, you need to be 100% sure of the cause of the problem. Okay? Thank you, ma. You're welcome. You took on leave. Akugo, tell me the truth. What do you know that happened to my sister? Why are you asking me? You're supposed to be asking that boy called Desmond. Akugo, as my friend that you are, I wouldn't want to get mad at you. Please tell me. What do you know that happened to my sister? I don't understand. Well, it is fine that you don't understand. But I'll make it right to you for you to understand, Akugo. Tell me, what do you know that happened to my sister? What are you saying, Ziki? You came to me so we could help you stop the illicit relationship going on between your sister and Desmond. Are you accusing me of raping her? Who told you my sister was raped? No, tell me. How did you know my sister was raped, Akugo? Why? Why do you have to betray me, Akugo? Why? Tell me. Stop, Ziki. Take it easy now. No, no, no. I can't take it easy. I will not take it easy. Not until justice is served, Akugo. Tell me. Why do you have to betray our friendship? You, Akugo. You are our people. Why? I understand you and trust me, I'll see what I can do about it. We all deserve to have our love reciprocated. My point exactly. Mm. If he doesn't like me, he should let me know. I don't want to keep doing this. Like I said, I'll speak to him, okay? It's fine. Uh, I feel like it would be better if we all have an understanding of what we are to each other. Thank you very much for understanding. Mm, it's fine. Um, I was about going to the ICT. Would you come along? Oh, okay, sure. Let's go. Please help me out. Okay. <clears throat>
So what do you intend to do now? What kind of question is that? What else do you want him to do? Sila is a random girl and should not be the reason to fight. What are you talking about, Kevin? I mean, are you even reasonable at all? Yes, we know that Stella is some kind of girl, but calling her a random girl is, is bad. You know why? Because this one here put her into that lifestyle. He deflowered her. Jealousy, that's what he's speaking in Kevin. Because no girl has ever liked him in this school. You can see that to any girl once now. No worry. You will see the babe when you go to this side of the school, eh? If not be a random girl. <laughs> Jealousy for words. No, tell me. I beg you. Kelvin, I've never called you to help me fight for my babe. So please don't you ever refer to Stella as a random girl. Please. Now that she's going through some emotional trauma, please. I beg you, just respect her. For using that word, remember that I've been terrified every single day of my life, but that has never stopped me from doing what I wanted to do. You see, you. Right. You, you are really forgetting. Uh, There's uh, a demon in Please, I said the truth. I don't know what's all this. Why is he even reacting? <sighs> Which kind of problem is this? Eh? Why are you running? Ziki, I think Stella told him. <sighs> That's a lie. I don't think it's a lie. If it does, we are doomed. Ziki will never forgive us. I don't think she told him anything. See, I suggest we talk to Ziki. He's our friend. Crazy, they worry you. If you talk to him, that will rape her. Shit! Close your mouth. Don't you know that the world have ears? Let's just keep calm and watch. Hey, babe. What about that man we met last week? Which man? Charles now. Ah, he doesn't have money. <laughs> um, boy, <laughs> bad man. This uh, girl. This one, fine man without you know, money. I ain't the man, sir. So okay, now. Nah. Wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> How about his friend? Which one? Charles you mean Charles' friends? Oh, ah, that one. He's very stingy. Ah. Ah. Excuse me, guys. Business go wrong. Yes. Grace, what happened? I don't know. I am doomed. You should know something, babe. Maybe a way out. The way to appease the gods to tender mercy due to carelessness. I wish there is. I haven't said if there is any. You know what, Grace? I have somewhere we can go seek solution. What was done must be undone. Erica, if you do this for me, I'll forever be grateful to you. I promise. Thank you so much. Thank you. Don't worry. I'll make inquiries and get to this. You must leave. Thank you. <sighs> I don't
I've been following you, and that shows you that I don't have anything bad in mind. If I do, I would have done that a long time ago. I need you to tell me, why did you have to betray our friendship? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh yeah, you don't know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Kenzie, are you sure you don't know what I'm talking about? I don't want to say that again, but I think you're the one between us here. I mean, how could you possibly think you can be responsible for raping your sister? <laughs> Interesting. Did I tell you my sister was raped? Was my sister raped? How did you know my sister was raped? No, tell me. If you are not the one who raped her, who told you that she was raped? I didn't do anything. You did not do anything? Tell me! Why did you do it to the son of the devil? Yet you have the nerves to lie to me. Talk to me! I am sorry. You're sorry? Oh, you're sorry now. Now tell me what are you sorry about? Are you sorry that you can undo what you've done? Are you sorry because you can bring her out of the pain you put her through? Are you sorry because you can make her come out of the trauma you put her into? What are you sorry about? It was never my plan to do that. It was Akugo that suggested we do that. I'm really sorry. I'm going to let you go, but only on one condition. What is the condition? You see, we don't have to involve everyone. We need facts to prosecute them of their crimes. Chiyuzuki, if you want to make an apple pie from scratch, you first need to create a universe. Exactly my point. We need to use them to prosecute them. Now the question is this, how do we do it? <clears throat> um, so that was what happened actually. I wasn't in support of what happened to your sister. So Akugo said all that about me. He couldn't even face me. Why did he decide to hurt my own sister? Why? You know, I even tried to remind him of our friendship, but he said that is none of his business. So, he even thought of dating my own sister? I don't really know if he's serious, actually, but I just think he's just been lost in on her. But she, seeing you as a friend, is just a barrier for her. Kenzie, man, thank you very much. You're welcome. Everything can be taken from me, man. But the last one is his freedom. I still have my freedom, and I still have the chance to do what I want until my freedom is taken. Thank you very much, Hosei. It's nothing. Just one round is enough to cast that spirit out. You are right, but you are talking about a native doctor here. A native doctor? Is he not a man? Come on, girl, stop this naive attitude of yours. I'm only scared of the aftermath. I mean, the most horrible part is that he doesn't even want to use a condom. Yes, because it's only his flesh that can cast out the demon. Which rubber can obstruct it? What about HIV? What about STD? Who knows how many people you must have done this with without protection? 
Grace, you don't have much time. Just go and do this, please. If you so much love her and she's acting out to get, there's always a way to do it and make them understand that they remains the weaker vessel. How do you mean? No matter how strong a girl is, they should be reminded that the squad to you in it. Yes, I am not disputing that. But I'm only looking for a better way to get this girl to love me. And be ready to know the girl will never love you. Yes. She will never love you because you're not the only one after her. There is only one form as to get her. Which is? Force her into it. You can drug her and have your way. Uh, uh, but, but that's rape. What if she reports? She can never report. She can only avoid you. But then you've already swim our ocean. We do this all the time with some other girls and they never complain or report. Last time was Stella. Stella? Yes. But she is your friend's sister. I mean, how do you feel doing this? Cool. She was just so sweet. And I guess that's why your friend still likes her. Wow. She must be strong. Yeah. But if you cannot do it alone with violence, we can help you make a good plan. Anyways, I, I'll let you know. All right. So we grace now. Why is Grace not picking? I was even thinking she had gone there until Erica came out. She said she would be going there because we are. Yes, that was our agreement. But I've been calling her since morning and she's not picking. I hope she's safe. This is strange. <sighs> I wish I came to school today with my phone. My battery was low, so I couldn't come with it. Ah, Grace has two phones. Maybe she didn't go, she didn't go out with this very one. You are right. Let's wait and see. Maybe after school, go check up on her. Huh. In the mm. meantime, let's go to class. I'm Bella, and she's married. I know about that already. Okay, fine. We want to talk to you regarding the incident that led to what happened to you. We know how you feel, because you have been there. But it's time to raise voice against such bullying. I wish I could. I, I think it's past. No, it's not past. Listen, you are not a victim for sharing your story. You are a survivor, setting the world on fire with your truth. And you never know who needs your light. 
warmth and raging courage. Exactly, Stella. Look at me. I've survived. Confused. Screwed up. But here. So, how can I find my way? Is there a chainsaw to the soul and us to take my memories or my fears <laughs> look I am not what happened to me today I am what I choose to become about the stigma. Our job is not to deny the story, but to define the ending, to rise strong, recognize our story, and rumble with the truth until we get to the place we think. Yes, this is what happened. This is my story, and I will choose how the story ends. You should not be ashamed of your story. It will inspire others. Hmm? It's okay. It's okay. No. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, what do you want? I want to sincerely apologize. I know I was wrong. But let's just forget about it. I won't go after her again. <laughs> What's funny? What are you talking about? It was Ziki that asked us to go after you. So you can leave his sister alone. None of us was dating her. We only had our turn on now. Wow. That was nice. So how does it taste? Mm, cool. So I, I guess we are no more enemies now. No more hunting each other. I wasn't your enemy before now. Abby? Take revenge. Sure, that is normal at this point. But how do we go about it? <laughs> this is the question. For doing that to my sister, trust me, they will never see the light of the day. I'll pick them one by one. I suggest you report to the principal. My thought, though. <laughs> see, we all have a role to play here. But let's not get things worse by trying to mend them. My question now is this, with them, can we get justice for my sister and others? So what do we do now? I'm looking for a better way to comfort Erika. If you ask me, I suggest we let go. Chris is my friend, even before we got into this school. So I'm ready to fight for her and bring justice to her death. But we need to find out what happened first. Whatever that happened shouldn't have been kept secret if there's nothing fishy about it. <laughs> you are right. But we need to find out first.
주연이 듣게 된그 노래 나도 모르게 숨죽여 들었어 색이 바래진 그날의 기억을 모른 척하려 두 눈을 감았어 이젠 아무렇지 않다고 믿었던 나 너란 기억이 담을지 So all I wanted to do now is to start narrating to me what happened. How dare you ask me such a question? Because you know everything. And I wouldn't want to make you feel like I'm being nosy. Are you asking me about what you know that Grace is under a curse and death revolves around her? If anything had happened to her, her village deity should be held responsible. I don't care, Erica. You took her to where we don't know and yet you denied it. What manner of woman are you, Erica? That you can't even explain to us what happened. Is that what happened, Erica? Ask her, she knows everything. Is that true, Erica? You know what happened to Grace, yet you claim you don't know. Yes, I know. <coughs> Hope after this, her life will no longer be in danger. Uduka, the great. Does not the lies. Let's see outside. to hurt her. I never wish for her death. <laughs> I am so disappointed in you both. Of all the moral teachings that we give to you every Wednesday, you still found a spot to sin. And not just anything for that which is an eyesore to God and humanity. Yes, sir. I know. I know you'll be sorry. I mean, it's always like that. But one good thing here is that you both had your signatures embedded in the school rules and regulations, which says that such an act is a punishable offense by expulsion. <laughs> 